playing with white we will see Peter Welsh and with black we will see uh, Jonathan uh, Spielman so a little bit about those two players uh, well nowadays uh, Peter Wells has uh, 2344 of rating he is uh, 58 years old and of course he is uh, dropping his rating but at his highest peak he had 25 uh, 29 of rating so quite a strong player about Spielman Spielman is uh, 67 years old and uh, at his highest peak uh, this guy was a beast so here we have 25 89 and talking a little bit more about Spielman he is an author of course Welch is an author too Sh uh, Spielman is a journalist I think he, he writes for several uh, new newspapers, uh, articles, uh, uh, he played uh, several candidates and he almost played against Kasparov uh, because he, uh, he hasn't played because he lost against Nigel Short by one point and Nigel Short has lost later um, the, the World Championship against uh, Gary Kasparov. Of course, later we will talk uh, on a different video just uh, about Spielman because this guy is a living legend. Today we will see a loss of him, but the most important part is that this is a, a miniature and this miniature will be won on the positional play. And it's interesting because normally when we talk uh, about chess and the plans, the, the kind of stuff that we can uh, do, uh, everyone thinks, oh, I need to play tactical moves because uh, this means I will win quick, uh, e e quicker the games and uh, the games will be easier. But that's not true. Uh, most games are won on the positional play. And of course, if you play very well your positions, you will have tactical moves because the, you will be able to correct, uh, co um, put the pieces on the correct places. So let's jump to our game. But before that, of course, we need to talk because almost 87% of the viewers isn't subscribed. And of course, I need your help. If everybody subscribes today we will grow this channel and this will help me to continue producing content every day now now right now we are putting two videos per day so one is a long form content and the other is uh, always a short about uh, we've been uh, talking about tricks opening tricks so um, if you're enjoying the content please like uh, you can always push the notifications on and comment if below if you have any suggestion, critics. You can always talk with me by chess.com. My nickname is Dark Underline Attack. So let's jump to our game. And well, uh, we have playing with white Peter Welch and uh, with black we have John Spielman. So this is a quick game and um, the inter interesting part is that I have several students that they don't like to play against G6. And here Peter Welch is quite an aggressive player. So I, I, I like a lot his style. Uh, and he is a grandmaster, you're going to see. Uh, he, he will win in a brilliant way against uh, John Spielman. So here against um, a lateral move, it makes all the sense to play on the center. So um, after d4, black will play a G, uh, bishop g7. And after that, knight c3, you can always play knight f3 too this is all normal even bishop c4 so and after c6 uh, we are playing uh, theory so here uh, the interesting part of this game is that you can play several setups the the austrian attack uh, uh, normal setups uh, where you occupy the center and uh, attack central squares uh, you can play for lateral attacks too uh, and here peter walsh will play a very simple way a simple move knight f3 and if you want to attack me, 
attack me, please. Because I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm placing my pieces on, uh, to the correct places. So here, um, black has played d5. And after d5, okay, uh, here this is theory too. So we just need to continue developing our pieces. So first, h3 to prevent bishop g4. Why is that complicated? Uh, simple, because if bishop takes, queen takes, and the bishop can take uh, d4. Uh, so after h3, this is a prophylactic move and helps to continue with our goal develop our pieces to the best squares so here this is completely playable yet so uh of course black can take black can play e6 can play knight f6 everything is playable here so uh white chooses to um, occupy a more advanced square uh, and advances the pawn to e5 and after knight to e4 of course, here it's important to evaluate correctly this position. Because we don't want to take this knight. Why is that? The computers say, oh, this is playable. But for humans, it isn't easy. Because if you take pawn takes, and the thing is that black is winning the initiative. And uh, right now, this queen is creating pressure to the d4 pawn. Of course, the queen cannot take, but is a plan right now so after for example knight g5 to attack the pawn uh, c5 and this game is already complicated for white so in my opinion white don't don't want to play this kind of stuff so it's easier to just continue the development uh, development with bishop d3 and of course here black will take to break the pawn structure because now the pawns are doubled and after that, black continued with c5. And, okay, this is still playable, but if you're, if, if you're enjoying the, the black's uh, game, you need to be careful, because the king is still on the center. So this is completely equal, but in my opinion, probably it would be easier and you would prevent a lot of complications if you already uh, uh, have done the castle king side. Because the thing is that you need to guarantee the security of your king or else you will be attacked with violence. So be careful with that. So here uh, Spielmann has played c5 and Okay, I understand the idea, because if pawn takes, this is tripled. So, these are tripled. So, uh, of course, I can castle, and black is already better, because I hate this pawn structure. But the thing is that I don't need to take if the pawn advances. That's the thing. I can castle, and this happened on the game. And after c4, this is looking dangerous for black. Because, okay very well this advancing of this pawn is restricting the bishop so this bishop needs to play to e2 correct any problem at all but the thing is that now in my opinion it's important to castle please castle spielman castle please he has played f6 so this is a strong grandmaster one of the best and he doesn't want to castle. And why this happens on unofficial games? Probably because they want too much to win the games. And sometimes they, they, they forget the most uh, normal principles. And in my opinion, F6, this isn't a French. So doesn't look very good. So... Uh, here, white will continue the best way. If you want to practice your positional skills, please put on pause, think a little bit. And let's see if you see the correct move. So here, Peter Welch has continued with on takes. And the, white is doing the correct maneuver. So the plan is correct. Why is that? because of the fact that this king is on the center. So because of that, 
uh, we, want, we, we want to open the center. And if the center is opened, the game will be more dangerous for the player with the exposed king. So here, black has continued with pawn. And the interesting thing is that the computers evaluate always this position as, as equal. Uh, as equal. Sorry, my English is great. Uh, so the thing is that, in my opinion, okay, for the computers this is equal, but for humans this is a miniature. <laughs> because I think no one would play this correctly with black. So... How can we create problems to this black king? The answer is playing bishop a3. And bishop a3 is so, 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 so dangerous. Because the thing is that right now this king cannot castle. Because the bishop is attacking the f8 square. And uh, talking about ideas for black, this position is still equal. But to continue playing for the equality, uh, here black needs to play stuff like bishop f8. It probably is the easier way of playing this position. Um, he has played king to f7. It's complicated, but yes, it's playable too. And another approach can be knight c6, but I, I don't I don't like very much. So talking about bishop f8, this doesn't happen. But uh, in my opinion, this would be interesting. For example, of course, bishop takes. Uh, this solves everything because this king is secure right now. So uh, alternatives: probably queen c1 or um, bishop bishop c1. I don't know. It isn't easy to to create problems right now because. We are fighting for the diagonal. But here, uh, Spielmann has played king to f7. And after that, this game is already finishing. Because this is too complicated for black. And we need to think, how can we continue this position? Well, let's continue doing the opening principles. If you haven't seen, we have a video about that on the basics of chess. Uh, so, okay, king security, check. Uh, we opened the center to expose the opponent's king. Okay, check. Uh, rooks to the open files. Oh, okay, let's go. Rooks to the open files. Okay, this, op this file is open, so let's go. And this is complicated. But, again, the computers continue saying, nah, you don't understand chess. This is completely equal. Okay. okay. We are human. This guy, Spielmann, is, was one of the best players in the world. So, if he loses this, I will lose. Probably you will lose too. So, it's difficult to play this. So, this continued with Queen to A5. And the plan of uh, Spielmann is correct. He needs to create pressure to the bishop, he is threatening to take the pawn, and yes, white can continue with bishop b4. But the thing is that Peter Welch is a very interesting attacking player. Because here, first he will play just... Hmm, I, I think you don't want to see the move. <laughs> because this move is so pretty that I want to cry. Uh, it, it's marvelous, like a, a Mona Lisa of chess, a Picasso of chess, uh, Salvador Dali uh, of chess. Because here, uh, the computers say bishop before, and after, for example, uh, queen takes, this is too dan dangerous for black, because rook a1, uh, queen b2, and things like... Uh, Mm, knight d2, this queen doesn't have squares, so this is too complicated for black and it's lost. So, uh, alternatives with queen a6 and this kind of stuff. But here, the thing is that white hasn't played that. Because Peter Welch knows that he is playing against a human, and not a computer. 
So because of that, he has played. <laughs> Bishop takes c4. And Jesus, beautiful. And what is the idea? He's sacking a bishop. He doesn't have nothing. What is he doing? Okay. The thing is that this king is on the center. And because of that, this king won't be safe never again on this game. Why is, is that simple? Because if black wants to continue playing this position, of course, he needs to take the bishop or else he will be losing by one point. Uh, talking about positional compensation for the sacrifice. First, we have a, past, prote a protected past pawn. Next, exposed king. Next, we can create problems to the two problems. And third, this bishop is protecting the pawn on b7. So this, this bishop is terrible. And because of this bishop, this rook is terrible too. Everything is terrible on this game for black. And again, the fish says, Luis, you don't understand nothing of chess. Because this position is equal. And again, we are humans. We need to play... Uh, to, um, we need to put difficult questions to our opponents. And if we do that, eh, they will lose the game. So, for example, if black played this move, is this doesn't happen. Uh, probably queen would take the pawn. And after, for example, bishop, this is terrible. Uh, for me, this is terrible. But the computers say, oh no, this is playable. It's complicated. The material is even, but this king is is not <laughs> is not safe. So, for example, rook e1, and if the bishop takes, we will take the rook. So, black has several problems to solve on this position. So, it's it's too complicated. So, because of that, after uh, queen to e2, black has continued with queen to c7, and this is finishing right now. Because here, this game will continue, uh, of course, with rook e1. And he is threatening to enter with everything on the 7 rank. And after bishop plays to f8, right now it's too late to do this move. Because here, uh, the game is already completely won for white. And are you seeing? How can you win this position? It's simple. Because of bishop f8, the rook isn't protecting the square on e8. So we can enter with the queen. And after king play, uh, goes to g7, this finishes with violence. Because now we can win material. It's simple. First, don't forget to put on pause, because you're working the positional skills and tactical play. So, first, we will take the bishop, then rook will take, and in the end, we have this move. Rook e7, and you're thinking, oh, but well, the rook will take the queen. No, 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 that's not true, because after king plays to g8, we have just... An easy way of winning material. Queen takes rook, and here Spielmann has resigned. This game is completely lost because white has won three full points, and in the move 20, he has resigned completely. Beautiful game by Peter Welch. Now, we need to see what was the precision of Peter Welch and Jonathan Spielmann, because I need to prove why uh, had I chosen this game. <laughs> so, uh, if you want, you can try to, to, to think a little bit. What do you think was the, the precision of the, this game? Well, let's go. Uh, so, here, the precision is incredible. Let's review. And are you seeing that? Peter Welsh at 97.7 of precision and Spielmann 88.8. .8. Spielmann has done a good game, 
but lost in 20 moves. Because he is human and we need to play chess knowing that we are human, we aren't computers. And look at this, two brilliant moves. The first one was queen e2 because creates problems to the pawn. This is a problem, the king is a problem, everything is a problem in this position. And the other move uh, is the last one. Queen takes rook. It's brilliant too. Talking about the evaluation. 3,000 for Peter Welch. And about Spielman, 2550. It's normal. It's on his rating. So, 3,000. It's a lot. This is a great game. <laughs> very, very strong. So, um, for today is all. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. This uh, was a different video because uh, we worked a little bit our positional skills. And if you have any suggestion to analyze uh, a game or even see different openings, you can always suggest on the comments. Again, if you're still seeing the video, thank you a lot. It's because of you that I create content every day. So tomorrow we will be here uh, at the same hour uh, to talk a little, bit, a little bit more about chess. Thank you again. Have a good night. Till tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>